good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today we are going to discuss what is vat vat value added tax and specifically on vat in uae vat in the uae objectives today we are going to discuss understand the general principles of vat latest developments its impact in your business before discussing the vat in uae let us see what's the global scenario on vat vat enactments timeline see the vat was implemented in nine countries by 1969 by the time 1999 around 119 countries implemented vat by 2014 164 countries 2015 166 countries the latest update in last year that's 2016 egypt also implemented vat if you look into the overall there are a few countries which did not implement vat usa gcc countries libya myanmar like that a few countries did not implement vat the rest the whole world more than 166 countries implemented vat by the time latest egypt implemented vat now gcc countries are going to implement vat by beginning of the year 2018 let's understand what is vat vat is a type of general consumption tax that is collected incrementally based on the value added at each stage of production or sales it is usually implemented as a destination based tax it's also known as goods and service tax that is gst in some of the countries for implementing vat there will be a specific reason for uae also there are some reasons for implementing vat let us see what all those for enhancing and increasing source of revenue from non oil sector increase in cost of public services to improve the living standards further those are the three main reasons for implementing vat in uae why vat in the uae is different from rest of the world if you look into this there is no existing tax framework in uae that is one of the unique difference of gcc countries or specifically uae complex system to integrate with all gcc member countries there are six countries in gcc some of the countries will implement vat by beginning of 2018 some will be by towards in the middle or by end of the year comprehensive audit program and effective supervision of auditors is lacking in uae as you know there is no accountancy body in uae like the accountancy body available in india uk us and all so there is a little difficulty for effective implementation of audit auditing in the business sectors in the uae because of lack of accountancy body transformation of the mindset of the businessman to accept the tax concept in the country everybody knows this is a tax free heaven 
So the business people started business in UAE by keeping that in the mind. But in later stage, when tax system comes into the country, there will be little hesitation from the businessman to accept that change. That is another challenge for implementing VAT. Or that is the difference of implementing VAT in the UAE and rest of the countries. Let us see now, what is the impact of VAT on UAE economy? Expected revenues, nearly 2% of GDP, total of around 12 billion dirhams in the first year, that is in the year 2018. Extra revenue to meet future social service requirements. Inflation will go up to some extent, thus the cost of living also may go to some extent. That will be the impact on UAE overall, in UAE economy. Now let us see how does VAT or VAT works. See, this is a typical example which I would like to explain in front of you. The farmer, farmer grows the crops, harvest it and sell it to the factory. If this product is taxable or if this product is not exempt from VAT, then it will be taxable from the farmer's angle. Then it goes to factory, process the crops, prepare and sell to the wholesalers. When it goes to the wholesaler, the products are stored in the wholesale stores for retail to buy. The fourth level comes to the retailer. The products are stocked in the retail stores and displayed for sale to the end user. End customer. End customer or consumer purchases the products for consumption. Let's see how VAT works here. Farmer sells the products at 10, 100, uh, 1000 dirhams, 5% VAT, if 5% is applicable for that product, it will be 50 dirhams on sales. Then it moves to factory. When factory, from the factory, when factory uh, owner sells to the wholesaler, if the selling price is 2000 dirhams, 5% VAT will be chargeable on that. The person factory owner already paid 5% of the purchase price, that is 1000 dirham, on that VAT was 50, that was already paid. Hence, the net amount 50 has to be paid to the VAT authority. Next step, it moves to wholesaler. It is sold to wholesaler at the rate of 3000. For 3000 dirham, 5% VLT will be applied. Wholesaler is selling to retailer at the rate of 3000. So 150 will be the VAT, but together already 100 was charged in the previous purchases. So the net amount 50 will be charged, has to be paid to the authority. Next level, when wholesalers to the retailer, retailer sells this one to the customer at the rate of 4000. 5% of 4,000 will be 200 grams. Already 150 was charged against the purchase. So the retailer already paid to the wholesaler along with the purchase 150 dirham. So the balance 50 only he has to pay to the VAT authority. Effectively, if you look into the final product which is going to the end customer will be 4,000 dirhams, 5% 5 VAT will be 200. So 4,200 will be the price on it. However, every stage of sales, that's every value addition for the products, there is charge. When the credit is, 
when purchase is done that credit can be availed by the seller at the end the end user is consuming fully so the consumer does not have any facility to claim it again so he has to absorb the entire cost of vat that is a overall structure of vat hope you understood another example we will discuss this one in detail let us see another example structure of vat works the same another example like added if the selling price is 100 from the farmer fiber will be per this vat because five percentage the same effect i displayed here with a different prices every stage five percent will be charged and purchase price whatever the vat paid that will be deducted and net amount only has to be paid to the vat authority you can see every stage five 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 like that 25 dirham is the total amount to be paid to the VAT authority. In this example, excluding, excluding VAT and including VAT separately I have shown. So including VAT, selling price excluding VAT by the, to the end user is 500, including VAT 25. Every stage and 5 times it is added 25. So there is no hidden charge there is no extra charge only 5% on the final value of the product is charged normally there is a confusion for the customers or the for the public that every stage 5% will be charged charged so the overall cost will be going much beyond 5% in our it's only 5% maximum for the end cost or the end selling price now we are going to look into what are the types or categories of goods and services in VAT. Supplies or goods and services tax taxable and non taxable. Non taxable will is called as exempted and under taxable standard or full rated that is 5 percentage and otherwise zero rated. So it's very simple in VAT, VAT and UAE only three categories one is taxable other is exempted a taxable case zero rated and full rated that is five percentage so it will be very simple calculation here now we are going to learn a new terminology that is input vat let us see what is input vat input vat is the value added tax added to the price when goods are purchased or services are rendered if the buyer is registered in the vat register the buyer can deduct the amount of vat paid from his or her settlement with the tax authority so input vat is the value added tax added to the price when goods are purchased or services are rented so when we make the purchases what amount we are paying as VAT which can be claimed when they sell the product that is called the input credit let us see an example suppose a company is having 11 products each products are having product 1 2 3 like that and the, this is a purchase value total purchase value of the product is 3400 Out of this product, I categorized four products are exempted. Zero of three products are coming under zero rated, and four products are coming under full rated. That is five percentage. Hence, the exempted. Let us see the next the the what will be the VAT on each products. Total 3,400 purchases, exempted 1,400, zero rated 800, and full rated 1,200. VAT will be like this. For 1,400 VAX exempted, there is no VAT. For zero rated 800 dirhams purchased, there is no VAT. 
the same time full rated 1200 1200 at the rate of 5 percentage will be 60 dirham will be the VAT on the purchases this is the input credit which the businessman can claim now let us see the other terminology output credit output VAT output VAT is the value added tax calculated and charged on the sales of goods and services now we are going to explain the same output VAT also with the example the same calculation of output calculation for output VAT the same products they are selling for 4000 dirhams the 11 products which different prices let us categorize that into three VAT exempt zero rated and the full rated total 1600 1400 1000 1400 total will be 4000 let us see how VAT works here output VAT how it works see VAT exempt 1600 there is no VAT for it zero rated 1000 dirham there is no VAT for it and full rated 1400 5 percent is 70 dirham is the VAT output 1400 at the rate of 5% is equal to 70. Now let us do the reconciliation input and output. It is called VAT reconciliation. Everything is explained full rated 1400 purchase value 5 percentage output VAT is 70 input VAT is 60 the difference that is the liability or claim. So here the VAT liability is 10 dirham only they collected from the customer 70 but pay to the supplier 60 the difference they have to pay to the VAT authority so they have to they collected 70 60 already paid to the supplier the difference 10 they have to pay to the VAT authority zero rated there is no input there is no output VAT in the VAT exempt also there is no X there is no VAT input there is no VAT output this is the VAT reconciliation. It's very simple. Hope you all understood. Now let us see what is VAT registration. Who has to register for VAT? There is confusion in the mind of businessmen or the public that who has to register for VAT. Every company, every businessman who are registered in UAE who are having an annual turnover above hundred thousand dollar that is three hundred and seventy five thousand dirhams per annum has to register for VAT if the if their turnover is between fifty thousand dollar and hundred thousand dollar that is hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred dirhams and between three hundred and seventy five thousand dirhams it is optional for them to register whoever is having a turnover of less than fifty thousand dollar that is less than hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred need not be registered for the time being now let us see what is VAT on imports and exports for export VAT is exempted but for import VAT has to be paid at the point of entry. It is to have control on product and to match the cost with the local market. So for every import there will be VAT. Now we would like to discuss in detail what will be the impact on the business and what the steps the management has to take one impact the existing long-term contracts which are extending to the year 2018 
and beyond have to be revised because the previous contracts which you all have made does not cover the vat clause hence depends upon your contract and the nature of industry you have to look into revise in the existing contracts to cover the vat clause otherwise your business will be suffering the cost of 5 percentage the second if the, if the supplier claims that he is a VAT or VAT registered supplier and he does not file returns in time, the customer may not be able to claim the input credits. Hence, the customer should make sure that the supplier is a valid registered supplier. This is the biggest change which is going to happen in the market. Every customer will be looking for a registered supplier so that a valid registered supplier, if they are buying the products or getting the service from a valid registered supplier, then only they can get the credit, the input credit, so that they can minimize the cost. Let us see the third point. Invoice should be properly controlled. In the existing system in SME especially, the books of accounts, are maintained but sometimes to some extent since there is no proper monitoring policy here then uh, the even the accounts department or the management is not looking into the each and every corner of the books of accounts properly so even the get invoices or reputation will be there that one may not be proper control on the invoice numbers but the time is the now the time came to make a proper invoicing system in the books of accounts there should be a proper control number in every invoice one example in the case of the contracting companies normal practices like this suppose the company finishes 20 percent of the work they will invoice 20 percent of the total project for example 1 million project 20% they will invoice for 200,000. Thereafter, work finishes up to the 50%. Then, even though the 200,000 is collected or invoice already generated, they will make another invoice for 50%, including the 20% which already invoiced. Next time, when 80% of the work is completed, if the amount is not collected, they will make 80% that is 800,000 invoice will be done. This is a normal practice I have seen in the market. So the total if we accumulate 200,000 plus, 500,000 plus, 800,000 total 1.5 million. But, but the project value is total 1 million only. But even after completing just 80% of the work, the customer is invoicing for 1.5 million. When we invoice like this, everything will be attracted by 5% VAT. So we have to be very careful and we should avoid duplicating the invoices. Now let us see what is next. Working capital fund has to be increased. An example, if the supplier is supplying the products on cash and if the customer is get giving, if they, uh, if they are giving a credit facility for 180 days for the customer, immediately they are facing a cap working capital requirement to the extent of six months VAT because when we raise the invoice the next quarter the customer is liable to pay the VAT to the authority it doesn't matter when the, when the customer pays the same time the supply is on cash or even in advance when we when we receive the goods and receive the invoices at that time it, in the following quarter we can claim it so we are pay, in this example we are paying in cash 
and given the credit to the customers so six months period of VAT should be made available in the company to pay the VAT on the to the VAT authority so the companies which are working in this credit terms will definitely face a credit a shortage of working capital to that extent at the same time definitely if the customer like if the if the vat customer like supermarkets they are buying they are selling in cash and buying on credit of course there will be a reverse effect of this one there will be a VAT working capital fund shortage will not be there for them instead there will be an excess cash in their business to the extent of 5 percentage VAT another impact or the management has to take action on staff education and training at all levels of the business operation who are coming under and uh, in the VAT chain the accounts department operation level which are involved in the VAT the software people the documentation control area so all those area the people should be aware the staff should be aware of the VAT next one is ensure that IT and accounting software is capable or your your accounting software is capable of handling the VAT requirements now let us see what are the how the invoice of VAT what are the documents to be or the what are the records to be done in VAT invoices invoice should be dated properly and invoice number should be the so the type of supply should be mentioned the quality and the description of the goods supplied should be properly mentioned company's name and address should be mentioned the name and address of the customer should be there properly mentioned company's VAT registration number the date of supply that is a tax point should be mentioned the rate of VAT for each supply the VAT exclusive amount for each supply the total VAT exclusive amount the VAT the amount of VAT payable all this information should be there in every invoice the customer raises this is a sample invoice which is disclosing the VAT registration number customer address company address all the description all the details will be there with the products and details prices the rate and the VAT rate and the VAT charge and everything will be mentioned and separately also disclosed now let us see what are the advantages of VAT from the government point of view VAT minimizes tax evasion as compared to any other taxes because it is connected from one supplier to another customer that supplier to another customer it is connected so it's a chain so opportunity of evasion of taxes comparatively minimized in VAT VAT has default process to catch up the tax evasion due to the detailed calculation of the sales and purchase input and output VAT is only added to the product price on the proportion of the value addition so the increases in price is comparatively small government collects tax at every levels of transactions next is there is mass participation of taxpayer payers now let us see what are the disadvantages of VAT VAT is based on the full billing system so the cost of implementation is very high 
V8 is relatively complex process to calculate because of the value addition at every step of the supply chain process. V8 is a complex process so the chances of error are much as compared to the other tax so the cost of tax administration may increase. Cost of living that is inflation may go up a little bit in UAE. Just to know. So these are the points I thought of just sharing with you all on VAT. The final, the draft of the law has not yet been released or in the preliminary draft also not yet been released. Today is uh, 15th of uh, April 2017. So we expect in couple of weeks or by next month to release the draft of the law. So once we get the draft, then we will get more clarity on the law. So till that, so we'll be having this kind of seminars and workshops again, and it will be uh, the, the there will be a lot of interactive sessions for VAT. So you can contact always our office, Emirates Chartered Accountants Group for any training or seminars or workshops for your company or individuals. So thank you. Thank you for the cooperation. Thank you all. Another.